We're just getting some shots now. All the players waiting in the staging area at their PCs for this game to get underway. It should be very shortly. And it seems we are ready to start. Once again, letting them know that we are ready. Just a little bit of technical difficulty at the moment. And it looks like the countdown has begun. We are now loading the first map, Twisted Meadows, and we are about to see... The players have chosen to use a different name that I'm familiar with, but uh, the, the game has begun, and here we see DJHS Skater. That's actually Zero Fire. He, as I mentioned before, is the Orc player. Chipotle will be using his name with uh, some number characters in there, but we'll refer to him as Chipotle. Again, the map has started on Twisted Meadows. Players are now building their typical buildings that they start off with. These players have spawned actually quite close to each other, Kim. And what, what kind of tactics are going to see with uh, them after they find each other? Yeah, How close the spawn is? They're actually very close. I don't think this game will last as long as most games tend to last. Already the Night Elf player here has placed on an altar early on in the game. And that will tell you right away he will not be going a neutral hero. My guess is he'll start off with a, a demon hunter, perhaps, and try to do some harassment. We have an early scout out, a wisp of Chipote working his way around the map trying to find his opponent. It sounds like we have our first altar coming into play here. We're going to see who has that up. It is... It looks like he couldn't decide there. Chipote at first wanted to build a Keeper of the Grove. That's also a harassing hero, but he changed his mind last minute, made the cancel, and now decided to slay the Demon Hunter. Zero Fire has selected the Blade Master, and he has that working for him. Blade Master will tell you right there, he's going to be doing some harassment. He's going to want to take down some of those Wisp, trying to slow them down a little bit. We also looking over at Chipotle's base. Are we placing down an Ancient of War now? I don't see a Hunter's Hall, so he's going to open up this game with some archers. So Demon Hunter versus Blade Master, these are two very skilled melee combatants. So we're going to see lots of damage being done at the very beginning, lots of harassment by both players and each other having to deal with each other's hero. Right, I don't suspect any early creeping from these two. One is going to have to defend while the other one is going to be attacking and harassing. Uh, we're probably going to notice some grunts here coming from Chipotle. I mean, actually from uh, Zero Fire. Scouting uh, has been done for him. He did a little bit late here on the scouting, so as you can see, he doesn't know where to go right away. So he's going to try and go for uh, some Wisp kills. He's trying to take out that scout of his opponent, now moving his Blade Master up the map and we're taking a look at where the demon hunter is moving for he's got some uh, melee units out actually it's a ranged archer is his first ground unit produced and he has another one of those working at the moment now do you think that we will have time to a see a two hero game attack. here for both players oh uh possibly quite possibly we will uh we do actually see creeping already taking place zero fire here is going to go straight for the gnolls right outside uh, a little bit far away. He doesn't want to do harassment. His base, however, was uh, being under attack a little bit, and it seems the two players have chosen to just stay away from one another and creep, try to gain some experience. And it looks like that Zero Fire has found the hero of Chipotle and tries to sneak in a creep jack there. Chipotle managing to, to finish him off just in time, working on another level three the creep here. Forces are under attack. And I'm trying to see just when Zero Fire is going to find his opponent's base. Yeah, it doesn't seem he has found him yet. However, both players now, if you check out their bases, they're both already beginning their upgrade to Tier 2. The Orc player, Zero Fire, has begun teching to Stronghold. Meanwhile, over at the Night Elf player, Chipotle, has begun his tech to Tree of Ages. Still more creeping going on. However, we have an item purchase. Uh, Zero Fire, with his Blade Master, has decided to he head over to the Goblin Merchant Shop. He's going to pick up a Beats of Speed as well attack. as a Dust of Appearance, which uh, an item is a very good against Night Elf. He's going to be able to reveal any Night Elf units that choose to hide, and uh, he can actually take him down. And we have a battle that is about to take place. A Demon Hunter of a Chipotle 
and the Blade Master of Zero Fire. They have found each other in the middle of the map. There are several archers on the run away from the Blade Master. And it looks like they might ignore each other rather than get into it. This looks like Zero Fire is not ready to do a full attack. He's using his grunts to try and distract the Demon Hunter. They're chasing after the Demon Hunter while the Blade Master is fighting the archers alone. There is no support for the archers right now. They're trying to pull back, heal from their moon wells while their hero, the Demon Hunter, is far away from them. Blade Master trying to do a little harassment in the base. He has now found the base of his opponent. Trying to take out a few of those archers. He is down to 300 life now and forced to back off. Still a level 1 Blade Master. I'm going to yeah. take a look at the level here of the Demon Hunter of uh, Chipotle. Yeah, he's still at level 1 as well. These two players haven't had an opportunity to creep as much or fight. So their hero levels are a bit low. It won't be long though before they reach tier 2 and we can kind of see what buildings they place down and what strategies they will go for. Six archers now supporting the creeping. Seven archers add one to that. The creeping of the Demon Hunter of Chipotle as he moves his way across the map. We let's have, take a look what's going on in the bases here. Uh, before we do that, we do have a second hero purchase now by Zero Fire. He has chosen to go with the Nava Sea Witch as his second hero, and he is ready to do an attack right now as he moves her down with his Blade Master and four grunts, going into the base of Chipotle, forcing him to run and pull back, retreat a little bit, as he does not have a second hero to support him yet. It looks like Zero Fire has elected to construct his shop. He does have a voodoo lounge up currently working on a beast area as well so we're going to see some air units come into play here right we will big battle here inside Chipotle's base archers against the grunt there is no meat shield for the archers they focus firing on the blade master though bringing him extremely low to HP points he's going to be forced to teleport out as he only had like a very little bit health well, life 28 left. life left is what he had and they almost finished him off very early in this match so he has a retreat back in his base now, trying to recover, quickly uses a healing salve to keep his Blade Master alive. He'll head back out again. We'll see if he chooses to creep this time. I think he will. Not ready to engage in battle. He's going to go for the knolls right outside of his base. Chipotle electing to upgrade his bows for his army of archers that he has amassed to support that demon hunter. And we're going to see another, another creep here as Zero Fire moves in to a, a level 3 creep just outside of his base. We have a second hero introduced now for Chipotle. He has chosen to go with the Beastmaster. Hired from the tavern, the Beastmaster now only at level 1 will start off getting Quill Beast. So he has an army full of range right now. Chipotle going with uh, archers, Quill Beast, and has two mean tanks, the Demon Hunter and the Beastmaster. And that's going to really help out in supporting his all distance army. He's elected to go with all archers for his damage support. So those melee units are going to help out a lot. It will, and we'll find out how it works out here. Big battle in Chipotle's base. He is trying to take to tier 2. In comes uh, Zero Fire, taking down his Ancient of Wind already. We have archers trying to focus fire on the grunts. A lot of heavy damage here on the Demon Hunter, running low on HP. He's going to have to run back and use his Moon Wells. Uh, both players haven't lost any units yet, though. They're just pretty low on HP. I think this mass range is actually working out very well for him. Got a low grunt that they're trying to finish off. It looks he has managed to do so, and the Naga Sea Witch has fallen. Down goes the Naga Sea Witch for Zero Fire, and this is going to force him to run away. So many of his grunts are low on HP. He can't stay in this battle yet. He does have an introduction of raiders into his army, but too low. He is down to 37 population with Chipotle at 39. We have that Demon Hunter chasing the Blade Master at the moment. And the Beastmaster is chasing as well. They are chasing Zero Fire back to his base. Zero Fire is on the run, and uh, Chipotle decides to call that off. It looks like we have some air units, a little hawk here that uh, Chipotle is going to scout with. As he heads toward the tavern, he elects not to purchase anything at this time. He's going to move up possibly to creep a little more and get a couple levels on that Beastmaster he recently acquired. Yes, he will. I'm checking out over at Chipotle's base. He's now upgrading to Tree of Eternity. He's got two Ancients of Wind now down in his base, already upgrading the uh, Drew the Talent Adept training. This will allow him to probably upgrade Cyclone ability as well when he reaches Tier 2. So my guess is some uh, massive Drew to the Talons coming from him. And it looks like Chipotle is going to pick up some items from the Goblin Merchant, a Hellstone, and we have a possible creep jacking coming in as Zero Fire moves in on Chipotle's position. We have some damage being done to the Demon Hunter, and he's going to use a Town of Portal Scroll and move out of that position after doing a little bit of damage. A couple units lost there by both players. 
Yeah, that wasn't a good location there for Chipotle. He was in the middle of trying to creep, got creep jack, he had to TP away, but he did grab some nice items, had his mana stone with him, as well as purchasing a scroll of healing. Currently, he is at 38 populations. We're starting to see the druid of the talents come out now, while in the base of Zero Fire, more grunts and raiders coming from him. So we're going to see some ensnare action and uh, more creeping. Attack. Yep, Zero Fire currently taking a level 3 creep in the northern part of the map. We're going to see Chipotle start to mass his units just outside of the exit to his base and move towards the midfield. As Zero Fire is creeping at the north portion of the map, he's trying to level up his hero. Blade Master is very close to reaching level 3, not to see which already at level 2. Down below the very south position of the map, Chipotle is creeping as well. It looks like we have a Fire Lord also that's coming to play for Chipotle. Wow, so he's going to go three heroes now. He's really loving that tavern. Fire Lord coming out at level one, Beastmaster at level two, and the Demon Hunter has reached level three. So three heroes, and we only have two for Zero Fire at the moment. I think this is going to be tough for Zero Fire because Chipotle already now upgrading the Cyclone ability for his Drew the Talents. He's going to have mass Cyclones, meaning mass units flying in the air. Looks like we already have an engagement here at the very center. Uh, Chipotle moving in as he sees Zero Fire, and I think Zero Fire is not ready to fight. He's going to back off and instead take this opportunity to try and expand. He's uh, putting an expansion up on the very north part of the map and uh, buying some items here at the Goblin Merchant Shop. And we're going to see Zero Fire move in and use that snare on a couple of, of lava spawns that the Fire Lord has brought into play to aid him in a running off and possibly a confrontation here as we have a nice battle in midfield. Here comes the Cyclone in the air, Blade Master in the air, Naga in the air, the Raiders are now in the air. So many drew the talents just throwing this. This is really hurting Zero Fire a bit as he doesn't have his heroes to help him in this battle. He's going to have to pull back, but more Raiders get tossed in the air. They're flying due to the Cyclone, and this is going to be a tough, tough battle for him. He's still staying in, though, focus is firing on the weaker units. Force Lightning goes off by the Naga, but these uh, drew the talents are just tossing the heroes back up in the air again. Blade Master up in the air, and uh, Fairy Fire cast it all over the units of Zero Fire. Zero Fire backed those Raiders off. They were taking heavy damage, got the fire, the focus fire off of them and brought them back into battle and is now forced to back off once more. He's got a Raider with a 34 life. His Beastmaster was a little low, or his Blade Master a little low as well, 164. And I think that Chipotle almost could have finished him off. He is now giving chase back to Zero Fire's base and we could see a battle take place back in the home base of Zero Fire. Zero Fire is very hurt right now. He's got Fairy Fire casted all over his units, so that's going to reduce the armor of his units. He's just going to have to pull back, and down goes the Naga Sea Witch. He lost her while she was trying to run back home. He is now currently down to 39 population. He's trying to build more in his base, pulling back a little bit because his units are so hurt. But he is now being under heavy attack of Chipotle. Chipotle now at 50 population will come on in with a mass range. The two tank heroes and the Fire Lord taking down the first building he sees, the yeah. Booty Lounge. Yeah, that's the second time we've seen that Naga Sea Witch fall, and that's expensive to bring back. Is that going to hurt his economy any in this battle that's taking place now? I think any time you lose some units, it will hurt you uh, just because you have to revive them. It's a hero is now, he's down only the one hero up against three heroes, and it's not looking good here. Cyclone being used again, more units of uh, Zero Fire being thrown in the air, and he's just losing them slowly, one by one by one, with his buildings also being focused on, and uh, this is just not looking good for him at all. Taking down the bestiary. I'm not sure if Zero Fire will get that raider out in time. No, he will not. Bestiary taken down and the raider that was being produced in it had almost had time to spawn, but not quite enough. We have another raider in the air. And when you take your high damage units out of play like that with those cyclones, it just leaves you open to all kinds of damage from your opponent. It does, and also when you lose a hero like that, it will hurt a lot. As this Blade Master can only do so much, uh, he is able to try and focus on the weaker units without the support of any kind of ground and the support of a secondary hero. Uh, it's going to be tough for him. His Naga has made it back out. She's now trying to run away, but quickly Fairy Fire is casted on the Naga, and uh, Chipotle will have sight of where she goes. It looks like Zero Fire has managed to uh, erect a, an expo. I don't think he's paid much attention to that expo, though. Uh, he hasn't had 
very many peons mining from it, so he's just now trying to build it up. The only thing he can rely on now is hope that maybe he can have some more Players resources to help build, but with his buildings being taken down, I think that's looking very slim for him. Yeah, Chipotle is definitely just having his way inside of Zero Fire's base at the moment. He does. Both barracks down now, the B Sherry down, uh, one burrow goes down. The only thing left standing is his uh, great his stronghold, as well as uh, his peons. Now all the burrows are being taken down, and I'm not sure what much Zero Fire can do. He's going to try and harass the base of Chipotle to try and distract him a little bit. What is left of his army is now attacking inside Chipotle's base, going for the moon wells. But I don't think he'll be able to take those buildings down as quickly as Chipotle can. We have a town portal by Chipotle. He's going to try and run off his opponent as he cyclones the Blade Master, taking him out of play and forcing the rest of his units right out of his base. Yes, yeah, so the Blade Master quickly did a wind walk, able to run away. Meanwhile, right now, it uh, looks like we have Chipotle back in his base. His army is just massive, massive army. 60 population for him right now, full with Master Train Drew the Talents. He's got uh, basically no more archers. His entire army is just full of talents. His Demon Hunter, level 3, Beast Master at level 3, and the Fire Lord at level 2. Now, Zero Fire has had all of his burrows taken out, so he's not going to be able to produce any more units than what he has right now. Yes, and what he has right now is only 32 population. He's going to try and revive himself up at his expansion spot where he's now placed down two Beast Jerry's and some more Boros. And in order to distract Chipotle, he's going back into his main base to do some more harassment so he doesn't go and finish uh, him off. He's given him a chance to make that expo live and put him back in this game. Yes, but I think it's uh, not going to work out too well for him. As soon as uh, Chipotle came back in, he used his cyclone, threw his uh, heroes in the air, and was able to take down that Naga Sea Witch for a third time. We have lots of life taking place, and it looks like uh, Chipotle has found the expo, and that's it. Good game has been called on this first map. Well played to both players here and on Twisted Meadows. Chipotle takes the win, and now we'll advance on to the second map. Now we saw lots of aggressive move in that last map from Chipotle. I mean, he had three heroes. He was constantly uh, harassing his enemy.